gentlemen. What's happening? I mean, the best thing that's happened right now is fuel price is really low and gold price is up. That's a good thing because we're trying to buy a piece of ground in Alaska. Now you guys need to make us some money so that we can pay for it. We need a war chest. Get a wash plant running and hopefully you can find us something in Alaska. That'd be yeah. nice. Yeah, it would be. Sweet. Blow up. To build his war chest, Parker. Let's do this. Turns to the last cut the richest ground they've ever mined. Here we go. Cole Foreman, Mitch Blaschke, and Brennan Ruo fire up Big Red. Big cow! Good to go! Yay! Four miles west on the 2,000-acre promised land, Parker takes a big risk with his premier wash plant, Slucifer. Where's all this water coming from? Sick. Holy crap! Nice in. A torrent of 3,300 gallons of water a minute Holy is undermining the pad, threatening to crash the 45-ton wash plant into the pond. I'm just going to throw some rock in there, and hopefully it'll, it'll keep her short up here. Parker's solution? Use coarse tailings to strengthen the pad. Well, hopefully I don't disappear. An hour later, his fix seems to hold. You think it helped? Oh yeah, it helped a lot. Now we just have to see if there's any gold in the ground. Your problem. Right on, 10-4. You, come on, you knew it was coming. Yeah. We got two plants side by side. You know, we got to fill Parker's old war chest up with all this gold here so we can put it towards this new ground that we need. Just five weeks to the end of the season, Parker's crew still has more than half of the airstrip left to mine. Hey, crank it up! When his trusted right-hand man, Mitch Blaschke, receives a call from home. Can you see the fire from the house? It's really smoky. Which way is the wind going? Towards our house. Grab what you can and get out of there. Hey, Parker, you got a minute? Yeah. There's some really bad wildfires down there, and they're getting close to us. Holy cow. So my wife's down there trying to pack up everything she can in the back of her car. And when it comes to your home being threatened by some fires, it's obviously a lot more important than whatever we've got going on here. I don't want you to even consider not going after the conversation we've had. With Mitch making an emergency departure. To give you yeah. a hug, brother. Take care and drive safe. Co-foreman Brennan Ruo must step up and run the day-to-day -day operations. Just a lot of extra pressure on my shoulders. At the end of the day, I have one job to do, which is just to find as much gold as we possibly can. I shouldn't have to walk your floor. What's up, buddy? I thought everybody knew how to dig pay, but there are round rock everywhere. Like, I shouldn't have to walk the floor and find, like, yards of rock. I have hardly dug any of this. I don't care. Are you in charge or are you not in charge? Well, Mitch was in charge. Mitch ain't here. Yeah, well. There's quite a bit missed. Whoever took the last strip in the back, I don't give a f who it is, but it needs to get cleaned up. I don't know if guys are in a rush to go home or whatever, but if anybody wants to go home, they can f go home. That's not a reason to rush through any cuts or do anything sloppy or whatever is going on. We've done this racket for eight years now. I shouldn't have to walk our floors. There's no need to come here and be a about it. So over this whole man. Go pack me and leave right now. I don't give a about any of the after some cooling off time, Brennan returns to the cut. Just angry still. This isn't the first time he's been miserable like that. 
because there's no need for it, and that's what I'm getting tired of. Howdy. Um, I wanted to explain a little more my little blow up in the cut. I apologize because I shouldn't do it that way. Brent, since you've shown up here, like you've come so far and you've been doing a great job. Honestly, you have. Right. And that's, I know you've got on a lot on your plate, but we still have to make sure that we are following the basics and that's where I'm coming from. Right. Does yep. that make sense? Yep, fair. Thank you, appreciate it. No sweat, thanks Brennan. Yep, no worries, for sure, thanks a lot. I definitely was taken back a little bit with Parker. I do really respect him coming to apologize in a sincere way, you know. Parker now needs Brennan to mine out the airstrip before winter shuts them down. I want to try and conquer this season for Parker and hopefully put some money in the bank for some new ground for us. Get into that thing. Went right at it. This season, Parker has run his wash plants and his crew hard to build a war chest and find new ground in Alaska. This is what you're looking for right there. Wait, Chris, where are we at right before these numbers? Right now, we're at 6,988 ounces. So we've had a hell of a good season. The most we ever got in a year was 7,400. To top his best season ever, he needs just over 400 ounces. We're going to weigh up Lucifer first. Tyson, yes, here we sir. go. 20. Lucifer's rookie wash plant boss, Tyson, delivers 290 ounces. <laughs> Good job, you guys. Brennan, hey. this is Red. While Brennan and Big Red bring in a further 226. Yeah. Yeah. You guys, you just broke another record. Yeah. Yeah. Our record is 7,400. And for the season, we have 7,504.9 ounces. Yeah. Cheers, guys. Best year ever. <laughs> In a season like no other, Parker and his crew have mined more gold than ever before. And at 2020's record high gold prices, it's worth almost $14 million. So many more. Yay. Cheers, guys. Yay. Let's go home. <laughs> <laughs>